John, good point in the end and quite an open and entertaining game, wasn't it? Entertaining for you, Bruce, probably. <laughs> uh, it was good, good 45 minutes. It's probably uh, been our, our best away performance, really, for the first 45 minutes. Um, to concede a goal when we did was, was criminal. Um, as good as it was, um, difficult to stop somebody at six foot five from uh, winning a header in that, in that situation. But um, he took his goal very well, and he was a threat on all set pieces. Um, <clears throat> so we dealt a little bit better with it in the second half. But um, it was a bit of a killer blow to us right on the half-time whistle as well. We had a good first half. I was, I looked at the clock at 42 minutes, and I was looking forward to half-time. You know, going in one nil. But it wasn't to be, um, and we had to battle in the second half. Obviously, Peter made uh, made a big change. He put somebody on uh, Keith Keane, which kind of stopped us from uh, playing a little bit. Um, we played some very good football in the first half without uh, um, getting more goals. You know, we we really needed Bruce to get that second goal, and we should have done with the amount of possession that we had. Obviously, Big Matty hit the post just before half time with a left foot shot, and. Um, we, we should have gone in at 2-0, which would have made the second half uh, a little bit more comfortable. But in the end, you know, we were hanging on. Uh, they were chucking balls forward, left, right and centre. But we were very resolute in, the, in our defending. Um, so I've got to compliment the team in the way that they continued to battle in the second half. So I was uh, quite pleased with the point in the end, Bruce. Yeah, because for all their possession in the second half, Jamie Ashton didn't have to make too many change. Change, uh, saves rather, mm. and Lani Oibanji made a couple of terrific uh, interventions. Last ditch interventions, he? Yeah. yeah, he did. Um, which is uh, he, he's good in, the, in in that department. I thought the whole of the back four played played very well, and uh, they protected Jamie very much, as you quite rightly say. Jamie didn't have a great deal to do, but I was just a little bit disappointed that we we wasted the ball uh, in too many occasions in the second half when we were in good possession. Um, one or two of the players. Um, just gave it away needlessly, which which we hadn't done in the first half. So that side of it uh, needs to, needs to be uh, improved. But um, you know, I'll, I'll look back and reflect on this. Bruce is uh, is a hard, well earned point today. And Grion Edwards, four goals in five games now. Player playing with a lot of confidence at the moment. Yeah, we criticised him before the game because he hadn't scored for one game, um, which uh, which is not allowed. Um, so he he got back on the score sheet today and took it well. He gets in. Some very good positions, and um, possibly in the second half he got in, uh, himself into one or two good areas. He, he, I think it was him that created a good chance for Jimmy Smith. Yeah. And Jimmy actually hit Bobson with the ball. That's right. um, I think that was heading for the bottom corner, and it hit Bobson and, uh, and went out for a goal kick. Uh, some strange decisions from the referee and, and the two linesmen today. You know, they, they gave us a, a corner when it should have been a goal kick, and vice versa. Um, in the first half, he gave them a corner when it should have been a goal kick. Um, some, some strange decisions, and um, I'm a bit disappointed that Keith King has got a booking. Um, and I just thought it was far too petty at times, the referee. Um, didn't allow the game to flow as, as much as it should have done. But, um, you know, it's a, after last uh, Tuesday night's win, it was important that we picked up something here today. So a real hard-working, resolute performance from our boys and uh, takes us into a good frame of mind for St Francis on Tuesday night.